Hi everyone, I'm Nick Olivo, and today we'll see how to copy the properties from one token onto another. Now, we are going to use mods to do this, so a pro account is required to do what I'm about to show you, but you may be wondering, well, Nick, why would I ever want to do this? Glad you asked. Let me show you. So here I am inside my Dungeons of Drakenheim game, and on this particular map, you can see that there are a handful of NPCs who have this generic token. They, they don't actually have artwork associated with them. And so I want to change that. I want to put in something a little more visually appealing. And so I've got these tokens from the old Grunt Cauldron here called World Adventurers 2. I don't have a relationship with this person. I just think these tokens look really cool. And so what I want to do is jump into my art library. And this first NPC here, Balthazar, this person is a priest. And so having looked through here, I really like this particular token. So I'm going to drag that one on here. And same thing over here, Anika Patel is a knight, and there's a paladin token over here that I really liked for her, so I'm going to drag those on. So now, I want this token to represent Anika Patel, which means what I would have to do is open up the existing token and basically copy all of the same settings from the source token to the new token that I've just pulled out. And this gets really tedious and time consuming. So I want to automate this so that with the touch of a button, I can select the source token, hit copy properties, click on the new target token, and now the new token has all the original token's properties copied to it. So let's see how to set that up. Before we dive in, I'd just like to thank Roll20 for sponsoring this video. So the first thing you want to do is go into your game's mod settings and you want to make sure that you have the script cards mod installed. Script cards comes to us from the amazing Kurt Jagers. Kurt, thank you for everything you do for the community. And this mod is what's going to allow us to select the token, copy its properties over to the new token, and make all this a whole lot easier for all of us. If you don't have script cards already installed, go into your mod library right here, and in the drop down, just search for script cards, then you can add it and you'll be good to go. All right, so jumping back into our game here, I'm gonna pull up my trusty Notepad++ window, and let's write some code. So the first thing we're gonna do is put in this line right here, script with two open curly braces, and then two closing curly braces. This is telling Roll20 that we are using a script card, and everything between these two sets of double curly braces is part of that script card. Okay, so now what we want to do is we want to tell script cards which of these tokens is our source token that we're going to copy from and which one is the one we're going to copy to. And so we're going to do that with two lines that look like this. Dash dash source token is going to be the token we have selected. So we're going to have a token selected. We're going to copy from the selected token to a target token. And when we say at target token ID, that's what's going to cause Roll20 to bring up that crosshairs that will allow us to click on the token that we want to copy the properties to. So we're going to have our original source token selected. We're going to get a pop-up with a crosshairs to pick which token we're copying to. So once we've got those two defined, then what we want to start doing is saying what properties we want to copy from the source token to the target token. And the first property that we want to copy is going to be the represents character property. So we're going to do that with a line of code that looks like this. And it looks like there's a lot going on in this line, but don't worry, we're going to break it down and explain what everything means. So to start with this dash dash exclamation point T colon, that's saying we are manipulating a token's properties. The token that we're manipulating is asterisk T colon TID. What, what does this mean? Okay, asterisk T is script cards shorthand for the target token. So all we're saying here is the token that we're manipulating is the target token. And when you specify which token you're working with, you have to provide its ID. So we're looking at the target token and the target token's ID is stored in the property called T dash ID. So all this means is the ID of the target token. Then we have this pipe, and that signifies that we are providing a property. The property that we are working with is represents, which is this right here. So what we want to basically say is we want the target token to represent character priest. But we need to read that 
from our source token. And that's what this piece means here. Asterisk S is the script cards shorthand for the source token. And then colon T represents means we're reading the represents property from a token. Anything that is prefixed with a T dash means it's a token property. So we're reading the source tokens represents property and we're assigning it to the target tokens represents property. So when this goes through, basically what it's doing is it's reading priest off of the source token and it's going to assign it to the target token. So instead of it saying none generic token here, it will say priest. And now we're basically just going to repeat this for the other properties that we want to copy over. So if I scoot this over here and bring back my original token, what I also want to do is copy the token's name and nameplate and whether or not the players can see it. So let's start out with copying the name over. That's going to be done with a line that looks like this. Where we say, okay, we're again, we're manipulating the target token. Specifically, we're going to set its name property and we're gonna set its name property to whatever the source token's name property is. So we're gonna read Balthazar Adamans from the source token, and we're gonna write it over to the target token. But we also wanna grab that nameplate and players can see property if those are set as well. So we can actually specify a list of properties in a line like this by separating each property with another pipe. So I also want to get the show name property. So I can just put that in like this. And again, we're setting the show name property of the target token to the source tokens show name property. And I can put in another property here if I want to show the players the name of that token. So I'm going to put that in as well. That's just called show players underscore name. And that's going to be set to the source tokens show players underscore name. So if that box is checked for the source token, it will be checked on the target token. And if it's unchecked on the source token, then it'll be unchecked on the target token. Now, I also want to copy over the bar values here. And so that's going to be done with a line that looks like this, which is very similar to the one we saw previously. Again, we're setting the target tokens properties. And the first property that we're setting is the bar one value, which is going to be this value right here. We're also going to choose which property bar one is linked to. In this case, nothing. But if we had something connected there, then it would carry over. And then the bar one max value, which is this value right here, is going to be set to whatever the source tokens bar one max value is. So again, we're just reading these values from the source and we're going to copy them to the target. And then we're just going to repeat that for bars two and three. So it's going to look exactly the same, just we're substituting in bar two's values and bar three's values respectively. So this is the bulk of the code. Let's take this for a spin. I'm going to close down these windows. I'm going to copy my code. I'm going to highlight the source token like we talked about. I'm going to paste the code into the chat window here, press enter, and we get this prompt, choose your target. I want to go to this token right here. So I'm going to click on it. And there we go. Now we see that we have Bathazar Ammon's token properties has been copied from the source token to the target token. And we've got his character, his name, the nameplate, the player permission settings, and the bar values have all been set. But you'll notice over here on the right, we've got this output that shows the source tokens image, the target tokens image, and then this generic script cards heading. I don't want that. So the last tweak I'm gonna make to the card is going to be adding in this line, hide card pipe one. This is gonna tell script cards to suppress the output of script cards so it doesn't show up in chat, but it still does all its other magic. So we can just test that out real quick. And let's do this for one more token, this Fate Hope here. She's a scoundrel who probably doesn't look much like that. Uh, so let's go ahead and let's grab a different token image for her. I've got this Rogue Adventurer 19B. I like that image. Let's use that. We'll just drop that on there. Okay. And now again, what we want to do is run this code. So we're going to copy the code. We're going to select the source token, paste in the code, press enter, choose our target. And now we've got 
Fate Hope's source token, Fate Hope's target token, and we can see that everything matches up here. We've got the character matching, the name, the nameplate, player permission settings, and the bars. This is really great now because what I can do at this point is turn this into a macro. So I could come over here to the macros section, I could add a macro, call it copy token properties, paste in this code, scoot this guy out of the way, save it, and now I have that macro, I can put it in my bar, and it's just available for me anytime I want to do like we just did here. Now, obviously the token properties that we just worked with are just a small subset of all the properties that are available on a given token. You can set its size, you can change its light emitting properties, you can change its vision properties. All of the properties are documented here in the script cards wiki. I'll put a link to that down in the video description. So you can just come in here, figure out which properties you want to manipulate, and then put those into your own script cards. So there you have it. That's how you can copy the properties from one token onto another. I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, please give it a like and consider subscribing. Until next time, folks, have a great day.